paper, we studied how AI generated differential diagnosis matched with the diagnosis made by virtual primary care providers in over 100,000 cases. We found that the AI model exhibited high diagnostic agreement with providers. The AI generated diagnosis also aligned well with independent expert adjudicators. These findings highlight the potential AI has to improve virtual primary care. I'm Dan Zeltzer, a faculty member at Tel Aviv University School of Economics. Our article, Diagnostic Accuracy of Artificial Intelligence in Virtual Primary Care, will be published in the Mayo Clinic Proceedings, Digital Health. So in terms of the context, in the virtual clinic we studied, an AI model generates, based on patient-reported symptoms, a differential diagnosis, a list of two or three potential diagnoses. Providers see this list, as well as all reported symptoms, interact with patients through video or chat, and determine the diagnosis and treatment. We have three main findings. First, providers had high level of agreement with the AI. In 84% of the cases, the provider diagnosis was among the AI-generated differential diagnosis. These agreement rates, interestingly, varied by condition which we can see because we have a very large set of cases. It was very high, over 95%, for several common conditions, such as urinary tract infections. But it was lower in other cases, such as skin conditions. This rate of agreement was also predictable, even based only on the patient's main complaint. The second key finding is that uh, then when we had three uh, independent experts who were unaware of both the AI and the provider's diagnosis, uh, review a representative subset of cases. And we did that to confirm that the original providers did not over rely on the AI. They seem to have not because whenever at least two out of the three adjudicators agreed on the diagnosis, which happened most of the time in about 90% of cases, the AI differential diagnosis included the diagnosis. Further, these adjudicators agreed at similar rates with the AI and the original providers. Lastly, adjusting for case mix, AI accuracy didn't vary by patient age, gender, or race, suggesting no bias. This study is unique in studying AI's accuracy in a genuine clinical setting using a diverse set of real cases, setting it apart from much of the existing work that often relies on stylized textbook scenarios. I'm Dr. John Ebert, Professor of Medicine at the Mayo Clinic. I'm a general internist and telehealth provider. The findings of our article provide insight into AI's potential to as assist in clinical care, particularly in virtual primary care. With the time pressures in longitudinal care, AI integration can reduce clinician burden by conducting digital medical interviews and presenting diagnoses, like a digital practice partner. Our findings suggest that AI can provide meaningful clinical input and streamline patient care. For patients, this means more expedient and potentially more accurate diagnoses when they engage with virtual care platforms. AI can assist in gathering relevant patient information and expedite virtual visits. With AI's evolving capabilities, patients can expect an improvement in diagnostic accuracy over time. A particular interest to me is this finding that AI accuracy is predictable, which suggests that we can potentially automatically triage clinical cases for AI or human review. Next steps involve examining the scope for AI-based triage and automation, evaluating AI's influence on physician decisions and patient outcomes, and investigating the broader implications of AI integration in healthcare. Thank you for your attention, and me and the co-authors invite you to read and review our article.